All right, so once our site has been created, we're going to see this in our Power Pages homepage. We're going to go and select Edit, and Edit is going to take us into the Design Studio, which is the tool that we're going to use to configure and style our site. So when it comes up, we can um, we have different spots here to do our work. We're currently in the Pages workspace where we can design and work on our pages. We're going to be getting to that in the next module. The other workspace that we're going to be looking at now is the styling workspace where we can actually go in and put in our brand and our fonts for the Contoso Coffee Company. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust my color palette here. We're going to put in some values that are going to reflect the Contoso Coffee brand. So I have those values here. Um, they are in the lab manual. Um, that of course you can download and uh, follow along with. So I'm going to set the first one. That's kind of a, a deep red. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go the next one and I'm putting in the hex codes. So this is, makes it pretty easy for um, folks if you're trying to match the brand and there's different tools out there that you can use to you know, determine the colors and things like that. The other thing as I'm doing this, you might want to consider trying out um, is to use the, the Copilot and with the Copilot, you can actually put in things like um, brand is according to like Burger King or you know KFC or something like that. And it will go and it'll try to create a style for you. But today we're just gonna follow, we're gonna do follow along. Like I said, this is just a walkthrough of the power pages in a day. So we have our color palettes been set. So we have the red, blue, white, and black. That's cool. And then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna change all the fonts. Now, with this, changing the fonts, you would kind of think that would be a way to change all the fonts at once, but unfortunately not. We have to go in one at a time, so we do want to set those up to Helvetica to match the Contoso Coffee brand. So I'm just going to go through and do these one at a time. Like I said, it's a little bit tedious, but it shouldn't take you too long to go through and set these fonts up. All right, so I've gone through and I've set up all the fonts to be Helvetica. And now we want to do is change some of the button colors here. So I'm going to go up to my button. This is currently blue. What I want to do is change the filled value to our black color from our brand. So it's going to match. That looks okay. We'll leave the font color as white. I'm going to choose the secondary button. I'm going to change the fill style here. Um, nope, sorry, the fill style to red. Oh, sorry, my bad. I've clicked here. So here I'm going to change the second one. I'm going to change the fill style to red. So we have that on hover. Um, sorry. <laughs> change this to filled. We're going to change this to red and we're going to change the color of the font to white. So sometimes you gotta play around a little bit with it just to uh, make sure it's going to match. And of course we can try, you know, again, feel free to experiment and do a few other things as well. And we'll just change the font here. So just again, what this means is as soon as I move over, it's going to change color um, and that kind of thing. And actually here on our primary button, I forgot to do the fill. So I'm not getting paid for this, so don't, uh, don't blame me if this seems like a little uh, ad hoc here, but there, we've got all that styling done. That's gonna look pretty sharp there. And let's also go, at, while we're down here, let's change the margins and spacing to uh, 10 and 16. Okay, so that's gonna change that. So now that we've done that, we've actually effectively created our own custom style for the Contoso Coffee. We've completed the walkthrough of module one for Power Pages in a day. Um, so if you got stuck in any of these steps and hopefully my walkthrough helped you out. So the last thing I do want to do is let's just hit the preview button. Let's just see what this website looks like. So we have our red border here. We have our button that changes color. So a few uh, different things here. Not a lot happening yet with this particular site. Um, let's uh, go to the next step where we're going to start configuring the header and the page itself in the next module.